Welcome to my local fish store, World Travel. Hey, this is Thomas, Aquarium Hobby Reporter. This is the Ultimate Hobby. I think most people would agree. We got into this awesome saltwater aquarium hobby because of the beautiful fish. But I'm sure most of you would also agree we stayed because of the coral. If we're exploring coral today, then there's probably no better place to be than Worldwide Corals. Worldwide Corals is located at 11765 South Orange Blossom Trail in Orlando, Florida. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from Disney World. Oh, that wasn't me screaming, by the way. And just a skip from Universal Studios. Guys, don't worry. I'll get help from my addiction to roller coasters. <coughs> no, I won't. The guys at Worldwide Corals probably feel like I'm stalking them, as I seen them at the Atlanta Reef Club Coral Expo about a month ago, and then just a few weeks ago, I caught up with them in North Carolina at the Fantastic Anniversary event. But that's just crazy talk, right? I mean, you don't really think they, they think I'm stalking them, right? So let's follow them home. I mean, I mean, let's take a look at their store. That's what I meant. So I'm here at Worldwide Corals with Dre. Thank you so much for meeting me again. No, no, anytime, man, anytime. I really like your store. I have never seen a store thus far with this much coral. Yeah, we're passionate, we're passionate. So why do you think hobbyists, you know, like myself, are obsessed, you know, with corals? What is it about corals that just, you know, drives us? Honestly, I think the, the thing that brings people to the corals is the way the colors pop and the way the growth with certain species have an eye and the pattern and, the, and just all around just the, the, the presence it has you know and a lot of the times like you get a lot of you know newbies if you would come in here and it's like the number one question you always get is always like oh how fast does that grow mm -hmm. you know or how long will it double this size or in crust and what's the style of it growing so in general I think the fascination is the corals how they adapt to their environment and the way you can bring them from the ocean and just bring them into an environment and just let them take off you know and so, so it's now, addicting man yeah, it's addicting. I mean I, I love this hobby and, you know I really like you said I like the color I like the polyp extension and I like taking a little frag and you know just making watching it, it grow yeah I, I love that that's, that's so what now, it's all about to learn more about worldwide coral check out their website at WorldwideCorals.com. Don't forget to like their Facebook page. And if you haven't already, give my Facebook page a like at Thomas Vision Reef. Now, after leaving Worldwide Corals, I'm pretty excited. So before I leave Florida, I need to go on an adventure. You guys are probably like me. You probably have always wanted to see how corals are collected in the wild. So while we can collect corals here in the US, there are a few similar creatures that we can collect with a licensed collector. So our captain today, is Mr. Warren Hunt. Oh, another day on the water! <laughs> <laughs> we will actually be shipping out of Clearwater, Florida, and then we will be doing some scuba diving off the Gulf of Mexico. I'm really excited to have gotten this opportunity to go out and observe the collection of different marine species with licensed collector Warren Hunt. All right, we're gonna kind of do things in reverse. We're gonna actually see what we actually collected first. Great red algae, orange tree sponge, purple sea urchin, beautiful red serpent star, yellow ball sponge. Hey, I'm not really a slug guy, but these sea slugs are beautiful. Okay, now that you've seen what we've got, now let's see how we got it. The dive flag is up, let's suit up. What are you still doing on the boat? Get down here. It's about 44 feet to the ocean floor at our current location. There was just a storm yesterday, so visibility is eh, but we'll make do. All right, guys, we're in open water, so stick with the buddy system. All right, let's watch warm work. Now remember, Mr. Hunt is a licensed collector, and his license permits him to collect sponges, inverts, 
and a select species of marine fish. When Warren collects, he has to make sure that there are no corals attached to anything he collects. Warren explained to me that the best way to help maintain the reefs and wildlife in the ocean is to try to collect specimens that are already loose or broken off from the main colony. Warren collects for wholesalers, aquariums, and scientific research facilities. If you would like to use his services, please visit his website, BesidaAndSonsAquatics.com. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and also take a few seconds to subscribe, as I have a giveaway coming up for my subscribers only. You don't wanna miss that. I will be announcing that giveaway in about two weeks. Why do you do what you do? Why do you do this? I don't know. Beats punching a clock. I love the water. I think I'm a, I was a Viking or something. <laughs>